I am at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Sri Harikota, India's only launch pad. I have with me Dr. Jyotsna Dhawan, daughter of Dr. Satish Dhawan, and on whom this island and India's rocket port is named. She was here to witness the launch of Chandrayaan 2. Uh, Jyotsna, how does it feel to come back to a place which is named after your father? Well, it's enormously emotional as you can imagine. And it's also a huge privilege because uh, I got to witness the professionalism and dedication of people here all throughout ISRO who have been working tirelessly for months and years to make this uh, mission what it is. Meaning Chandrayaan 2? Chandrayaan 2. You, you were there inside. What was the feeling in the scientist when the T-56, the hold happened and then they had to abort it for July 15th? So, I, uh, speaking for myself, there was this tremendous atmosphere of uh, expectation, of course, as we walked in. And we sat there for about a half hour watching the countdown and watching the absolutely crystal clear image of the launch pad that was projected and watching the way in which the scientists went about their work it was remarkable uh, and when the hold was placed uh, at the time that you mentioned for a minute there was disbelief and I thought for sure it's going to be removed but as the seconds ticked by it was clear that this was going to be a, a go, no go kind of a situation. And so we waited. There was some communication between uh, um, the scientists there. And uh, then it was announced that the launch was to be delayed and uh, taken up at a later stage and that the date would come up at a later date. Uh, of course, we felt crushingly disappointed. but. The moment we felt that, I think we felt ashamed of ourselves because we thought, imagine what people who have been working for all this time must be feeling. Uh, and then we realized that they didn't miss a beat. They just kept working because obviously these uh, eventualities are something that they have prepared for. So they have thought about every scenario, failure, success, that's not the issue. Has a particular system performed according to what it is supposed to do for the safety of the mission and to ensure that the investment in that mission in time and money and people has actually gone well and that's what we saw yesterday so I don't think that we can ever think of this as a failure I think this is a step to success so in the in the control room where you were when this hold was put uh, was the president present already and was what was Dr. Simmons reaction? Doc, the, the president was not there yet so he was awaited and of course Dr. Sivan would have been accompanying him. Uh, former ISRO chairmen were there, uh, Dr. Kasturi Rangan, Dr. Radhakrishnan, uh, Sri Kiran Kumar and many other dignitaries and everybody was waiting with bated breath. Of course, the former ISRO chiefs are so used to this, so we were watching their body language. They were absolutely relaxed. They knew what was going forward and they were comfortable with it. So that was also something remarkable and uh, impressive for us. So it shows that the Indian scientific community understands what the problem is, that they were stoic, as you say, and were not flustered, that they had the President of India coming to watch and they had to put a hold, they went right ahead, they did not hesitate. Absolutely not. They were the professionals. They were in their own zone. They knew what they had to do and they did it. And I think that was what was the most impressive and really heartening to see. So thank you for letting me share this experience with you and with your viewers. So your dad would be happy up wherever he is to see this large and wonderful body of scientists he has left behind? Absolutely. I think he was just enormously proud of all the people who work here, the amount of training that they go through, the amount of effort that everybody puts in. Uh, and so I think, you know, uh, he and every Indian would be proud of what we witnessed yesterday. Would you think that if he were in the control room as chairman of ISRO and the president of India was there, would he also have gone ahead and put a hold? Um, 
I think that actually it's not up to the chairman of ISRO to put the hold. It is the mission director and the person who's actually on the ground. And that is what distinguishes ISRO from pretty much everything else. It's not a top-down approach to the final. The responsibility rests with the person who knows what's happening on the ground. And that person is trusted. That trust is what is so important. And I think that's what we need to communicate to your viewers. True. In fact, we kept saying, it's not a failure, it's a setback and ISRO will bounce back. Did they say anything as to when they would be able to come back? Or did you hear anything when they will be able to come back on the launch pad? And what really happened? Did they say anything? So, uh, of course, you know, it was too soon at the time of the placement of the hold and then as people were dispersing. Uh, it's too soon for them to make any public comment and I respect that. They need to go back to their technical people and figure out exactly what's happened. Half knowledge released early is really dangerous. So I think they use their privilege to actually do the analysis. From what I heard in the breakfast room in the morning, they have done their analysis, they figured out what it is, they have a particular launch window and they will try and meet it. But these are the vagaries of physical systems that you have to respect. And I think we just have to wait for them to come back and tell us when it's going to happen. End of the day, this continues to be rocket science. It does. And it's marvelous. So that was Dr. Jyotsna Dhawan, daughter of Dr. Satish Dhawan, on whose name India's only rocket port, the Satish Dhawan Space Center, is named. She was in the control room when the hold was placed on Chandrayaan-2 and the launch of the geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle was aborted 56 minutes before liftoff. A billion hearts were beating for ISRO and for Chandrayaan-2 and as Dr. Dhawan says, ISRO will bounce back and ISRO will do well since they seem to have figured out what has gone wrong. When they come public with it, we'll have to wait and watch with camera person Nagarajan in Sriharikota at the Satish Dhawan Space Center on the island of Sriharikota, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.